Uh, question for you. Two things. Number one, yes, sir. as a Jet fan, uh, do you think you have anything left in your legs? We need a deep threat. <laughs> That's a good point. Can you suit yeah. up? Can you suit up? Could you stretch the field for the Jets against the Chargers this week? And I think I can, Ira. All right. All right. All right. Uh, I'll get a they, hold they of it. They kept that game a lot closer than they should have oh, last Brian. week against those bad good Miami shot. Dolphins, didn't they? Oh, yeah. that was that was really bad. Probably one of the worst Dolphin teams I've ever seen since I'm following the sport. <laughs> but the other question is um, – what what is your opinion of Darrell Rivas? I, I think he's got to be right now, even without finishing his career at this stage, probably one of the, the top three ever. corners to ever play the game. Uh, I wanted to get your opinion on that. Well, I, I agree with you, Ira. I've seen him play. I don't know that much about him, his background, but he reminds me a lot of a guy I played with, Lester Hayes. I mean, he covers, as they say, he covers and sticks to you mm. like glue. He's all over the place. He has very good quickness, very good speed, very good makeup speed, as they call it nowadays. And, um, yeah, I, I think he's one of the top uh, corners in the league mm. right now. Question. Yeah, he's very, very good. Can he play wide receiver? Maybe he can go both ways. <laughs> uh, hey, listen, you know what? The, the, the New York Mets have too. a situation with Jose Reyes here. You know, the Jets should sign him. Maybe he could uh, boost that running attack they have right now. <laughs> you know, Mike, and, and again, you know, I, I look at um, the record books, and I'm not pointing out anything that's, that's not in black and white, but Ira jokingly said you still have anything hmm. in you, you know, you averaged for your entire career 16.6 yards per catch. Every time you caught the ball, you averaged 16.6 yards per catch. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, you also have to remember, Mike, Anthony, and Ira, <laughs> that when the Oakland Raiders threw the ball, it wasn't a two- or a three-yard pass. Everything was downfield. Everything was 15, 17, 20 yards, whether it was an out, an in, a hook, uh, a, a corner. You know, what they do today just drives me crazy. It drives me up a freaking wall. It really does. To throw a – when you've got third down and ten and you're throwing a two-yard pass to a fullback – why in the world would you even bother throwing the ball? Get the ball downfield to your wide just... receivers and get the ball down past the first down yard markers. And, oh. you know, God forbid I ever came off the field on third and ten and caught a pass for nine yards. John Madden would have been in my face immediately before I got off the field. He'd be yelling and screaming at me for not getting enough yards for the first we, we, we need you as our offensive coordinator. Yeah. I don't like Brian Schottenheimer. We want Mike Sianic. <laughs> hey, Mike, I got to put, put you on the spot. I got to ask you a trivia question. What sure. the, who, Lynn Swan, yeah. John Stallworth, John right. Taylor, Chris Collinsworth, That's pretty good Santonio Holmes, Braylon Edwards, Randy Moss, Plaxico Burris, Fred Bolitnikoff. What do they all have in common? They averaged less than 16.6 .6 yards per catch. <laughs> yeah. 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 Woo! Hey. I didn't know my, that. How'd you find all that? Uh, I do my research. Mike, just briefly, 